This is the story of the fairy tale land Where a flash of blinding magic turns a frog into a prince Here every hero has a princess to kiss And a happy ever after is the way it always ends But something's wrong in fairy tale land It's a crime wave and who can we turn to? Into the heroes of the magical tale They're a team of crack detectives and they're quickly on the trail Of who's kidnapped Cinderella straight from the ball On the case where Sleeping Beauty isn't beautiful at all The fairy tale police department Department. Once upon a time on a spooky night in a gloomy, smelly swamp in a far-off corner of fairy tale land, a mysterious cloaked figure set off on a desperate search. Dear little friend, I'm sorry I broke my promise. Please, I miss you. So I figured, if I'm going to give a speech before the secret society of witches, I should use visual aids to bring home my point. For example, <clears throat> witches and warlocks. As you know, there has been an increase in broom-related accidents, causing serious injury and distress mainly to the people the witches landed on. Ooh. I appeal to your common sense to obey the speed limit, yield the right of way, and absolutely no driving under the influence of magic. Well, what do you think? What, me? I'm at a loss for words. Pinocchio. I think it was a, a wonderful. Hmm. Not exactly wonderful. Uh, maybe fabulous. Yeah, a uh, fabulous is more like it. Uh, excuse me. I have a little wood carving to do. Oh, Johnny. Did you get my trench coat dry cleaned like you promised? Those witches won't take me seriously if I don't look official. Coat? No! Oh, uh, right. I'll go get it. Good old Johnny. I knew I could count on him. Oh, shame on you, Johnny Legend. You must always keep your promises, especially to the ladies. Right, right. I, I just got busy and forgot. Don't worry. I'll clean it. You're not going to put Chris's coat in that. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Wanda? Oh, certainly. Witch washing. Why, any amateur knows how to do that. Let's see, a spoonful of bone of bow for white to white, and for brighter colours. Oh, now stir gently while reciting the magic washing chant. Hmm? Abra clean, dabra spickety span, zobbity dobbity zudzi zam! <laughs> oh, 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 I think I spicked when I should have spanned. Oh, oh, do something, Wanda! Oh, oh. oh. When I call a meeting, I expect you both to come! Where's legend? That's what I want to know. I need my trench coat. So what's up, Chief? Oh, this is Princess Abigail. She's here to report a missing person. Well, he's not exactly a, a person. He's a missing frog. A frog? Yeah. Well, maybe he croaked. Get it? Croaked. <laughs> oh, oh, that would be just terrible. Gee, oh. oh. I was just trying to lighten things up a little. Oh, Johnny. I'm sure your froggy friend is fine. <laughs> Where did you last see him? Oh, he leapt out of the castle window and hopped straight towards the swamp. And what caused him to do such a reckless act? I refused to kiss him. <laughs> hey, no crime in that. All right, enough interrogation. Get down to the swamp and check it out. The swamp? The damp air makes my hair frizz. Oh. But, but 
what's a bad hair day when the fate of a frog is at stake? OK, let's hit the road. Just a second. Where is my coat, Mr Legend? Oh, over here, Chrissy. Fresh from the cauldron. <gasps> you let Wanda wash my brand new coat. Hey, what's the big deal? Your coat is clean, isn't it? But it's very clean. Right. Johnny, you promised me you'd get my coat professionally cleaned. I know, but... No buts, Johnny. A promise is a promise. Well, it depends on how you define promise. I define it as someone saying they're going to do something and they actually do it. Well, sure, if you choose that definition. <laughs> That's the last time I trust you, Johnny Legend promise breaker. That wasn't my fault. I was busy. I had to put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Excuse me. Yes? Huh? Aren't we forgetting why we came here? Right, your frog. Perhaps you could give us a description to help us identify him. Uh, no. Where did I put my pen? Oh. Hmm. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> Never mind. <gasps> oh, Froggy! Is that you? Oh, Froggy, speak to me! Not him. My froggy is very special. He talks to me. Huh? Right. So when did this frog kissing first start? Yes, maybe if you tell us about your relationship with this frog, it might provide a clue to his whereabouts. Well, it all started at my daddy's castle. He's the king. He's a very good king. He's fair, he's kind, he's honest. In fact, the only thing you could say against him is... He's a bit fond of his food. Then one day, when I was a little girl... Onesies, twosies, threesies, four. Onesies, twosies... Darling, dearest, do come in for lunch. Oh, my ball! Oh, oh, my precious golden ball! I'll never get it back now! Don't cry, beautiful princess. Rhythm. I can get your ball back for you. Why, you spoke to me, and yet I see by your warty appearance that you are a frog. Yep. A magic talking frog, to be precise. Rhythm. And you can retrieve my ball? Well, I could, but what do you promise me in return for the favour? Rhythm. Oh, anything your froggy little heart desires. Oh? Well then, Ribbit. I ask only for three things. Oh. To eat at your table. I suppose I could arrange that. To ribbit, sleep by your bed. Well, I guess so, as long as you don't snore. And finally, ribbit, a kiss. Oh, oh, my. Uh, oh, a kiss? Do you promise? <laughs> Alas, my desire to have my golden ball was too great. I'd worry about the frog kissing bit later. How about it? Okay, one little kiss. Just get my ball, please. Thank you. And so the little frog kept his promise. <gasps> and I tried to keep mine. The magic frog turned out to be the most charming company. We enjoyed dining together. <sighs> most wonderful bedtime stories. And the glass slipper, Ribbit, fits Cinderella <laughs> perfectly. <laughs> Ew. And she married Prince Charming, Ribbit, and lived happily ever after. Oh, what a lovely story. And all was going remarkably well. Until... And I know someone else who could live happily ever after if you, Ribbit, gave him a little kiss. You won't Ooh. regret it, Ribbit. Uh, I promise. But, uh, Excuse me, I have to brush my teeth. Brushing her teeth, how thoughtful. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. I managed to put him off like this for years, much to my father's dismay. But he's a frog! But you are a princess, and you promised. But father, he's green, he's warty, he eats flies! 
My dearest darling daughter, those are but the sacrifices one must make in keeping one's yeah. promises. It's the honorable thing to do. Yes, father. And so, the other day, I could put it off no longer. <laughs> 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 Oh, I, I can't do it! Oh, but what about your promise? I know I made it, and I should keep it, but you're a frog. Mm, yeah, but I'm a good kisser. I'm sorry, I just can't. <sighs> Very well, Princess. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> Come back! Hopping towards this very swamp. It's all my fault. I should never have broken my promise. Hmm. Uh, Let that be a lesson to you, Mr. Legend. <laughs> uh, let's get on with our investigation. Froggy! I know I put my torch in here somewhere. Froggy. Glow worms. Ah, oh, yuck oh. Froggy. Oh, froggy. Like here, you find froggy. anything in this swamp. Oh. Oh! I found quicksand. This is going to take a long time. Uh, something I don't have much of. Wanda! I need some magic on the double. Oh, Johnny Legend, what are you doing in that stinky old swamp? Looking for frogs. Well, it takes one to find one. Don't you know that? Uh-oh. Fibula, ribula, frogula, kaboom! <laughs> uh, okay, I'm safe now, Wanda. You can change me back. Ribbit. Ooh, you mean unfrog you? Oh, gosh, I've never done that huh? before. I'll have to read all of Volume 12 of the Encyclopedia of Witchcraft. Ta da! <laughs> uh, oh. Well, looks like I'm going undercover. Ribbit. You sure you're going to be okay? No, fine, no problem. Ribbit. Everything's under control, except for this sudden urge to eat flies. <laughs> All right. I'll search dry land. We'll meet back here in one hour. Ribbit. 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 And be careful! Don't worry. I will! This leapfrogging is harder than it looks. Ribbit. Huh? Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Excuse me, fellas. I have a few questions to ask you about the whereabouts of a certain amphibian. Now, why should we talk to a two-bit green arm toad like you? <laughs> Listen, Wartface, I'm not just any two-bit toad. Ribbit, I'm a cop. <laughs> Only I left my badge in my trousers. <laughs> <laughs> it's him! Oh, That's more like it. Let's get out of here. You wanna talk to anybody in this swamp? You talk to the frog father first, Ribbit. <laughs> he, he, he says he's a cop. A cop, Ribbit. I'll show you what we do with Snoopy Slimeball Cops. Uh, oh, oh, uh, that's not only assaulting a police officer, that's cruelty to dumb animals. So you want to play rough, huh? <laughs> okay, legend. Let's show them why you were the spitball champ in grade school. You, you, you beat the frog father. What do you want from us? I want to know if anyone has seen the frog who used to live up in the castle. Ribbit. You mean the poor stiff who got jilted by the princess? Ribbit. Uh, he hangs out by Alligator Rock, moaning and groaning about his sorry fate. Ribbit. Thanks for the tip, fellas. Ribbit. Oh, 
Oh, my darling. If only you could have loved me, even though I am green and warty. That's my frog, Ribbit. <laughs> you must be that frog who got jilted by the princess. Yeah, Ribbit. What of it? Well, I've come to tell you, Ribbit. The princess wants you back. Warts, bad poetry and all. <laughs> she wouldn't kiss me when she promised, Ribbit. Why should I believe her now? Come on, give her a break. You can't blame her for not wanting to lay her lips on an ugly sucker like you. Ribbit, a promise is a promise. Ribbit, where have I heard that before? <sighs> if she'd only trusted me, Ribbit, she would have learned my secret. What secret? None of your business, Ribbit. <laughs> hey, how come you know so much about my princess? Are you trying to huh? steal her from me? I might. You know, she's quite a looker. Uh, you keep your webbed hands off my girl. She'd never kiss you, Ribbit. What breath? Oh, yeah? Well, one look at you and she'd croak. I should give you a tongue lashing for that. I'd like to see you try. <laughs> to the shore! <laughs> it's our only chance! Where's Johnny? <laughs> OK, detective, where are we? Now I hear four feet. My guess is we're inside the crocodile. No. Oh. That's the king's men. I wonder what they're doing down here by the swamp. Help! Oh, get me out! I've been slain by a crocodile! They've got Johnny in that cart and they're taking him to the castle. It can only be for one thing. Hurry! The king hates to wait for his dinner, especially if it's his favourite frog legs fricassee. Hey, this isn't a crocodile. So what? We're still going to be eaten. Got to be a way into this place. No reason to panic, boys. I've got our escape all planned out. All we have to do is. Whoa! Okay, my retractable grappling hook should do the trick. Oh! oh. Oh, I can't find anything in this bag of tricks. This is your fault, Johnny Legend. How am I gonna rescue you now? Uh, uh. <laughs> hey, have now my toady little titbit. Prepare to be French fried. <laughs> in the name of the Lord, drop that frog. Zoot the Lord's. Come on, Johnny. Guards! Guards! Thief! Trespasser! What is the meaning of this? Your Majesty, this intruder broke into my kitchen and is stealing my frogs. I'm not an intruder, Your Majesty. I'm a police officer. Here's my badge. <laughs> an imposter? I suggest you hand over that frog this minute. But he's not a frog. He's my partner. Hand over my dinner. Tell him, Johnny. Seize her! Frog napping. Yes, that's very serious, young lady. Take her to the dungeon. All right, now hurry up with my supper, Pierre. All this meeting out of justice is making me hungry. <laughs> so you are a police officer, yes? <laughs> very funny. <laughs> I've been better. <laughs> okay, let's make a run for it. Go, go, go. Sacre bleu! The dinner is escaping. <laughs> Quick, in here! I don't like pasta. Oh my, the king, what will I do? I know, I will start with the pasta. Oh, great hiding place, Mr. Police Frog. Now what? We gotta get that dungeon key and rescue my partner. Oh yes, the pasta will fill him up and take his mind off the froggies. But father, you have to free her from the dungeon. She's appetizer, your majesty. Ah, 
Well, my dear, you know I never discuss matters of justice on an empty stomach. Pasta Primavera with a surprise sauce. Oh, goody. I just love surprises. Now, get the key. Uh -huh. What's going on? OK, let's hop out of here. Those frogs, they've taken my dungeon key. Get them. My darling little froggy friend, is it really you? Prepare to be dust, you nasty little creatures. <laughs> what are froggy legs without the proper seasoning? <laughs> They're getting away! We're heading into the dungeon! Robert! Oh, I know my mini hacksaw is in here somewhere. Ouch! Oh, you deserve to be French fried, Johnny Legend! There's the lock, but how can we get to it? Last time I looked, frogs didn't have wings. No, but we've got a cat up. Oh, watch. No! <laughs> 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 hey, partner, thought I'd drop in and rescue you. Uh huh. So the frog thief is trying to escape, eh? She's not a frog thief, Father. She's a police officer. I hired her to find my missing frog. That's right, Your Majesty. This one's my partner. Ribbon. Please forgive me, my little friend. I hope it's not too late to keep my promise. Ribbon. Never too late to get a kiss from a beautiful princess. <laughs> Anymore, my darling, for you have broken the magic curse put upon me by a jealous witch. Oh, isn't it romantic? One kiss and an ugly, warty thing turns into a handsome prince. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. But what about this ugly, warty thing? Oh, I've found the antidote. You have to be kissed by a beautiful princess. Well, I'd like to help, but I've got my own prince now. And I can't go around just kissing anybody. Well, you could pass for a beautiful princess. Oh, flattery will get you nowhere, Johnny Legend. OK, OK. I know I don't deserve it. I'm sorry about the coat. Hmm, well, you were very brave risking your life to save me. But no more broken promises. I promise. Ribbit. <laughs> I guess that makes another happily ever after. Oh, I know. <gasps> oh, that. I'm covered in swamp slime. You got a comb on you, Chris? Ow! Ooh. No. Hmm. Oh, well, it'll have to do. Oh, oh, no! Ouchie, ouchie, the hurty, hurty, the press! <laughs> and they all lived happily ever after. Anyone else got a comb?